In this video I show how I made the fire hole tube. Okay, today we're going to be looking at the fire hole tube, which is actually oval in shape. But we're initially starting off with a round piece of copper. So I'm going to face this off to length on the lathe uh, and turn up the mandrel, hold it in the mandrel to, to machine two steps. Fourteen point five. Take another point one. It's good. This needs to be 32, so we'll take a size. Thirty-four and a half, two and a half. Close enough. Okay, now we need to prepare it for converting this from a round to an oval. External dimensions of inch by inch and a half. So it's got flat surfaces and radius at both ends, some semicircular at both ends. So this is the tube we machined up, so we need to uh, squash this uh, into a shape something like this. 
One of the problems I can see is that if we squash it here on the major diameter, the two spigots either side are not supported, so they're probably going to deform to a slightly different shape around the edge. So to, to try and help prevent that and keep it uniform, I've turned up a couple of brass rings to support that, so hopefully to fit. So hopefully, as we compress the full assembly, those brass rings will give some support to those uh, spigots and keep them square and to shape. And additionally, to get the flat surface, I've machined a bit of steel in the lathe and on the milling machine. Um, so we can put that in there and then put it in the vise and squash it flat against the two flat surfaces which should give us the right dimension. So we'll just see how it goes. Okay well I'll shape my vise. So this vise has got some serrations on there so I'm using a couple of parallels either side and a parallel on the base to raise it up a bit. And we're ready to go. Right, here we, here we go. Peace with that. Thanks for watching.